you guys doing? My name is Bigman and this is the Battlefield Top Plays Extra and we have 10 clips for you guys to look at with your eyeballs and stuff and hopefully you will enjoy them. Yes, that is the plan. American Warfare up first here and he's got a 44 Magnum and he shoots that guy in the chest taking him out of the helicopter. And then with his follow up shot, he takes out the pilot also with the 44 Magnum. So, uh, yeah, that's something a bit different, but we're gonna look down there and then pop someone's in the pilot seat and then he loses his face. Nice. Thrillabate up next here, playing on Nosher Canal's TDM with the M5K. And as we run into this little trailer just here, these guys are just chilling in the corner and he gets taken down there with the M1911 Tactical. And then that guy was sort of standing up on top of those trailers over there, takes down another couple of them. And uh, luckily he's got a backup weapon in the M26 Slug. And if he did not have that, then he would be up shit street because there's quite a few, quite a few times in this clip here where he ends up, you know, running out of bullets in his primary and his secondary. Like that right there, just punched the guy right in the face, taking him down there with the ACB 90. And as you run around here, there's another couple of guys all over the shop. And I just love how frantic this clip is when he's just charging around, killing everyone, reviving people, switching all the guns up and stuff. Nice clip. Next up we have Rollskelf, and he's playing here on the Sheer Canals also, but he's playing some rush mode. And he waited a long, long time there to deploy the parachute. And uh, that's how you parachute into places. Far too many times I see someone just sort of very slowly floating down to the ground after they've deployed the parachute like a hundred feet up in the sky. You're basically asking to be shot when you do that. So that's how you do it right there, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, it gets in there, arms the MCOM station, and now it's time to defend that shit, stopping the enemy team from getting anywhere near it. And at first, uh, there was no one really popping out, and uh, that guy there, he just sort of showed up and got a face full of bullets. And, uh, well, now the enemy team seem to basically clock on that the MCOM station is being taken, and they should probably do something about it. And he takes down a couple of people there, gets the MCOM station destroyed, so they're a bit late in reacting to that one there. But uh, the enemy team don't give up lately in trying to hold this uh, building just here that he's sort of holed up in. And uh, quite a few people just turn up out of nowhere just there, over 1,000 points in the current streak at the moment. And uh, I love this little bit just here where he ends up just having to resort to just cracking that guy and say that they had. And it uh, happens a couple of times in the uh, in the top list today where people end up resorting to ACB 19 someone right in the face because uh, they ran out of bullets. But uh, yeah, we took a bunch of them out just there, had a nice little streak on the go. A good little frantic clip where he ends up with an MCOM station doing a bunch of stuff and things. And uh, yeah, RPG to the face. <laughs> Activate Arrow up next here, he has an M98Bs on top of this roof, looking around, scouting out the area, sees his helicopter, takes down the pilot in one successful shot just there, as we come over to the edge just here, doesn't get him with a follow-up shot, switches to the crossbow, hits it with a explosive bolt, and uh, as we run over to the other side, he gets another shot in with the explosive bolt, nice. Next up here we have Brecky. He's playing here in Talon Market. He has an A91. A very underused weapon, I feel. I mean, it's a really, really nice uh, little carbine, is it? Or carbine, or... I, I don't know. I'm not a gun person. But uh, it's a nice gun, regardless. And he's very successful in killing people with it. As he's run down here, that guy there reacted in a totally natural way to being shot from the side there, launching himself forward along the floor. But uh, as you come around the corner there, we take another couple of guys down there, and uh, notice how he gets a lot of headshots. You know, he's very accurate with his shooting, taking people down real quick, and uh, that's usually because he aims for the old cranium, taking him down there. And of course, when I say that, he does not get a headshot. But uh, as we go up to this corner just here, he notices a guy on the map, and that's why he stopped all of a sudden, he just sort of stood there waiting. It's a good tactic to employ every once in a while. If you see someone coming towards you, don't run out in front of him. Just wait for him to run in front of you, and then you can just mop him up. We'll be taking another couple of people down here, moving up towards the D flag here in Conquest Domination Talamon. Market. And he takes down one person, gets in behind these rugs or carpets or whatever the hell these are that are just sort of lying here for no reason. And uh, he sort of gets trapped down here for a little bit. There's a guy just sort of hiding behind that lone archway up there. And uh, it's good to stay in cover and not run out like a fucking moron, like a lot of people seem to do when they're playing Battlefield. So he takes his time, he gets his health back up a little bit, he continues to, to be a pain in the arse here, taking this flag and uh, shooting at them. Takes down a guy there who just joined the fight late. And uh, as we see, uh, there's someone on the map down behind us. I believe you've seen him on the map, I'm not really too sure. But he takes him down there. 
And uh, back up and try and capture this flag again. Taking this person down who came wandering up the stairs wondering what the fuck was going on. But it was a nice little clip there, taking a lot of people down and taking a flag. Cherry HD is up next year and he's playing Operation Metro with the M5K. And, uh, well, you know this area very well, and, you know, when you're playing rush mode, it seems to always get locked up around this area. And this clip is no different, as a lot of people seem to just get stuck in that little room there. That I don't know what kind of room it is exactly, but they're in there, and they don't know what to do. As he's just sort of spraying the absolute crap out of them here with the M5K. And, uh, some of you may have noticed, someone said to him in the chat, Cherry, don't go all Rambo. And he's like, hmm, M249 on the ground here. Don't mind if it do. I'm gonna go Rambo. As we come running up here in the middle of Operation Metro, he just holds down that trigger. And anything that walks in front of him is their own fault. These guys just sort of stood there like, oh shit, what did we do? And they didn't do anything. And they all died. Pretty quickly. And he ends up using all of the bullets in the magazine just there. Picking up an M16A3. Takes down another couple of guys. And basically, Cherry wiped out everyone in that tunnel all by himself. The enemy, his whole team were all just sort of there for backup, but they never really got a chance to do anything because Cherry killed everyone. But uh, we move up to the opposite side of that tunnel and we start pushing them out of the metro completely as he just sort of uh, takes position up here behind these metal things that are just here and uh, being a bit of a pain in the ass for the enemy team. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is a fucking awesome clip as he just charges through, demolishes the enemy team on his own without doing all that, you know, fancy flanking bullshit. No one really has any time for that. So he just basically takes on the enemy team from the front, fucking disintegrates most of them there, picking up guns as he goes. Awesome, awesome clip. Let's move on. Next up here, we have Oblivious AW. He's playing Caspian Border, trying to put down a spawn beacon on the tower, when the tower gives way, and he goes right through it because of realism and stuff, because, you know, that's how things work. But uh, as we're floating down, we get to watch the spectacle of the uh, tower just collapsing near Caspian Border, and I think it crushed someone. I don't know, I've personally never had that happen to me. Question for you guys, has this happened to any of you ever being killed by the big tower on Caspian Border? But we're eyeing up this flag over here, floating down, he thinks he sees something, he thinks, why not? Gets a headshot. Yep, with the, just a no scope, out of nowhere, 230 marksman headshot. Pekin Echo, 117, playing some air superiority. And, uh, well, what can you really say? Pekin Echo sends in, every now and again, sends in a pretty awesome little jet killing spree as he takes out one person there and then swiftly moves on to his second target with this guy just entering his view, taking him down. He then moves on to his third real, real quickly. And uh, that's a nice little string together of kills just there getting three guys in quick succession. But uh, as we circle around, I believe he's actually got someone on his tail, so defensive maneuvers and such. We need to keep mobile in the air, well, obviously, because you can't just sort of stop, you're in a fucking jet. But uh, takes down that guy just there, and then swiftly moves on to his friend, who's just bothering his teammate over there, and we're like, son, we can't be standing for much of this behavior very much longer. Taking him down there. Yeah, I just love these awesome jet sprees, where they just, they kill someone and just instantly move on to their next target. Kill them, and then move on, and kill them, and then move on. It's pretty awesome flying. And, uh, it is a great little display of skill. He knows what he's doing with the old jet. And, uh, fair play to you. Yeah, it's not very often he actually gets sent in some good jet plays. As he takes down a good, like, eight people or so in, like, a minute. So, that's pretty fucking awesome. Thanks for sending that in. And we shall move on. Next up, we have the Farrell, and he's playing Cargill, and he has an M98B, and, uh, time for a spawn beacon, why not? All right, then, let's have a look around and spot things, as Recon really should do, so fair play to you just there, spotting some targets, even if you've got nothing to do with that target. But, uh, as we look up here, we see... This guy floating around being a bit of a pain in the ass, then we take the gunner's head off. The thing flies away like, oh shit, what just happened? <laughs> Better get the fuck out of here. And uh, Ed's just looking around just here. He's, uh, you know, trying to spot up and see if we can take anything else out. We see that helicopter, that helicopter is running for his life. And then this pilot had to get too cocky and ends up losing his face. He does die by getting hit by the plane though, but nice clip. Now I'm going to leave you with this awesome, awesome looking clip here from Obina Tanker. If you enjoyed, hit the like button down below. But until next time, I've been Big Mini, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.